Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do a little something different. I'm going to show you how to get the Giants Editor, uh, the newest version as of this date, which is 4-26-23. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, my name's Jewel. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. This is the Giants Editor is what you use to make maps. And for Farming Simulator, uh, 22 in this case and the other ones if you had the older versions you could do it for 17 FS 17 and FS 19 so what you're going to do is type in and Google GDN or and with Giants editor and it'll pop up this uh, link here and you can click on it and it's going to bring you to here and if you don't already have a password and an email in your an account signed in you need to register here so you would click that and um, I'll click it just to show you what it looks like. You can put your name, username, full name, uh, email address. Make sure it's a good email address because if you don't, you can't get back in there and you need to sometimes. So it, you need to make sure it's a good email address that you can get into so that you can do what you need to do. And then if you want the newsletter, click the check. If not, don't. And then hit register. And then log in. Put your email the password is going to be whatever they give you so get a book and write it down you don't get your own password that you pick they give it to you and um they'll tell you what the password is you need to go ahead and write that down and make sure you write it if it's a capital make sure you write it good so you know it's a capital and if it's lowercase write it so you know it's lowercase if you don't you're never going to get back in here and you'd have to make a new account so anyway, what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and log in and catch you in just a minute. Now that I've signed in, it's going to give you an option to for the downloads. So I'm going to click on downloads. And now I have an option to download the latest uh, Giants Editor. And I have all these Giants Editors below. Now it is version 9.0.4. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. That is the newest version as of this date of this video. As you can see, it tells you here. So we're going to go ahead and click on it and download it. And so as you can see, it's downloading it right now. There we go. And so now I have the latest version of that. And if you don't have that, I'm going to go ahead and close that. If you don't have that, uh, you, the other ones, you could get them. But technically, you don't need it at this point. But uh, now if you wanted 19 stuff, they already took it down. It was 8.2, uh, I believe, or whatever it was. 2.2 or whatever. Uh, looks like they took it down. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here that you can download. You got shortcuts for Giants Editor in English, French, German. You got uh, the Lua scripts, snippets. Um, you need to get plugins if you're going to use Blender or the Maya. Um, let's see. You have these things you need to download. Uh, I would probably just download all the tools. You could download the debugger. Um, let's see. And then here's some more stuff you can look through and download uh, depending on what you want. And then there's a, the Lua sheet you could download. I already have all that. So we're going to stick to that. Uh, what you would do then is go to your uh, file. You could open it here or we could go to the downloads area and see that it it came up right here and in this case we could go ahead and install it double click it says do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and you're gonna to have to hit yes in this case you would read this obviously I don't know how many people actually read it but you would read that and then when you're happy that you've read that hit I accept the agreement and then you're going to hit next and then it tells you about the setup and it says to continue click next if you would like to select a different folder click browse and let me see where they're putting it uh, I might put it somewhere else I'm gonna click browse I'm gonna put it on D Drive I guess let's put it on D Drive it, you can put the you can put it where you want so be careful doing this if you have plenty of space on your C drive like plenty of hard drive space just go on and click OK and don't change it 
If you don't, put it on a drive that you have plenty of space on. So I'm going to put it on D drive. Hit OK. Hit Next. And, and then it just tells you the name. Uh, and I'm okay with the name of it being that. Next. And uh, yes, I want to create a shortcut to the desktop. So it's just going to put me a little clicking uh, icon on the desktop. Uh, and next and now it's going to do its thing it's installed it and now it just tells you to run application right away when I click finish and then or view me read me text and it's going to pop up the text about the Giants editor so I'm just going to leave those and click finish and now it's going to pop this up and this one oh this this is where they want you to replace um, the older versions now I do not want to do that so I'm gonna X out of here you do not have to do that I from my understanding and from what I did the last time uh, do not click OK or like as far as I know now I could be wrong but just X out of this otherwise you're gonna be replacing what you don't necessarily want to replace and I'm well it looks like they already did actually yeah they did oh boy they replaced or did they no they didn't I thought I had a, a, a higher one, but that, that's the latest one. All right, just X out. Don't click OK. Don't click one of these to replace or change or anything. Uh, it just, it just, it's going to mess you up. I would click X out of that. And then we should be good, and we should be able, there it goes, now it opened. And now this is the little read me part, and it just tells you about the patch. There's the patch, 1.1. One point, uh, point one. 1.9.1 excuse me and this is the newest one 9.0.4 and there's all the information about what they done to this particular editor to fix it and so we can close that if you don't want to read that anymore and we're going to maximize this and we're going to close this little box and as you can see now we have 9.0.4 that's how you download the Giants editor for Farming Simulator 22 to do maps. Now I'm going to do one quick thing real quick on this video for the newest people, the beginners who don't know anything about this and they're just now downloading this for the first time. We're going to go ahead and make a mod map. So I'm going to click and I have videos of this but I'm making it for y'all since y'all just downloaded it. So we're going to go ahead in here and under file and click new mod from game. And we wait, be patient. Giants Editor can be slow on slower computers and on newer computers at times. See it spinning? Just be patient. Let it do its thing. And now this pops up and you can pick, click the list and you can pick the Alpine map, FR map, or the US map. Or if you're going to be modding uh, or putting vehicles or whatever they have in this list on your map, you can use it, click on it make the mod and then you can put, add it to your map however you want to do it you can change the parts but you'd have to learn how to do the modding for the vehicles and stuff but we will make us a US map and we'll just click on US click OK and in this case I don't you wouldn't normally if you just downloaded it Giant Center and you've never downloaded it this folder don't exist but they're gonna make it for you so you're okay so if you want to leave it there then that's where they're gonna put this uh, map that you're making so you'll know it's in documents my fs22 mods you can find it there but if you want to change it and you want it to go to documents in some other folder that you've got created then put it make a folder and then exact put the exact title here that you made and you can put it there however you want to do it i just let it do this so i it'll always go here so change the map name to whatever your map's going to be called g uh i'm gonna put j E L up jewel uh map test and then uh yours will be whatever your map name is gonna be put here. You can always change it later though, don't worry. So hit OK and it's gonna create the mod from the game for you. So now it's gonna create the Elm Creek map. So basically you just created the Elm Creek map, but you're going to be able to edit it. So you can change it, make a blank map, you can do whatever you want. If you want to make a blank map, I have a video for 19, and I don't think I did one for 22 yet. I need to, but uh, you need to watch both videos. I have a part one and part two. I had for, I told about something in part one, but I forgot to do it while in the video, so I had to make a part two. 
it was basically about deleting the fields uh, and it, it, it'll explain it just watch both videos fully if you want to make a blank map and it should be pretty much the same for farming simulator 22 I don't think anything changed so we should be you should be good there alright so I have the console open and you can see this is the information that sometimes comes up you may have errors when you first get something so you'll need to check that uh, looks like this one's not too bad alright so we're gonna close that now if you don't have the console open click on window and click on console and that's where it tells you down at the bottom where you have errors and things uh, also if you don't have see right when you come in here you only have scene graph so and attributes see there's attributes so but say you need a uh, you want user attributes then click on windows and click user attributes and you get that and then click on windows and you click on terrain editing and you get that so all that stuff everybody else has you'll have and then you can see they've updated it it's all brand new I've never seen this you can see they have uh, the radius is different the this uh, area here they've added presets I'm not even sure what all they've added they look like they've added several things and you can just look through the here. This is other stuff they look like they've added. I'm trying to get down. They've added stuff like this. So we'll have to look into all that. And you can see it's a lot of things you can do. Looks like they've added this procedural placement planting. I believe they've added that. Okay, so they've added some things. That's good to know. And then if you want to open uh, particle editing or material editing click that and as you've seen we've done that there's this custom shader area so you can do a lot of things um, obviously you have to click on object before you see anything in the attributes box but anyway uh, pretty much everything else should be about the same uh, but I just wanted to show you how to get this 9.0.4 Giants Editor downloaded since I didn't get to show you because I'd already downloaded all the other ones. So that's how you download it and hope you enjoyed this video. I guess I'm going to call it a video here and we'll get more into other things on the Giants Editor later. But I hope you enjoyed the video and it helped you get started for map making. So stay tuned. And I have videos of how to do some map making, so please go back in the playlist and the Giants Editor on my channel and watch how to make uh, some things in map, map making tutorials. So please hit the like button if you like the video, subscribe, turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye everybody.